biggest problem that we have with people's understanding about barn fires is that everything that you've ever learned from TV and videos, movies, YouTube, was wrong about how to respond to a barn fire. So that goes all the way back to whether or not you should be putting a blindfold on a horse to lead them out of a barn fire. You don't need to do that. Catch the horse, lead the horse out. That's assuming that it's safe for you. It takes longer to actually put the blindfold on than it does to capture the horse and lead the horse out of the barn to safety. The second thing would be um, you don't need to be running down the barn aisle in the first place. It looks good in the movies, but it's a very dangerous environment for you. The only way that you may be able to rescue animals that's safe for you would be if you have stall doors to the outside wall of your barn so that you can actually go into the barn from the outside wall, halter your horse, and lead them to a safe place to put them in a paddock or a round pen or some pasture where they're going to be safe and not get hit by the responding fire truck. The third thing would be if you've ever thought that a firefighter would be able to actually halter and catch your horse and lead it out of a barn fire. Where would they get that training? They don't get that training. We're trying to get them that training through the large animal rescue training, but it's not real common. So asking them to catch a horse in a terrified situation is very difficult to do. Um, even with all their gear on, they, they, they sound like Darth Vader and the horse is not going to be excited about being caught by Darth Vader. And you can imagine how terrifying that would be to a horse. Lastly, I suppose, let's talk about response time. That's a huge myth. People think that the fire department's going to be there in 20 seconds to be able to deal with your barn fire. You have to make a phone call to 911 or 000 or 999, depending on what country you're in. And then they have to tone out the fire department. The fire department has to get in the truck. The fire department has to find your location. Can they even find your address? Do you have a reflective sign at the road so that they can find the location of the burning barn fire and then they get there and they're going to be looking for hazards before they go into the barn. They're not just going to get off the truck and run into the barn to save your horses. Um, it's not worth a firefighter's life for a horse and I know that's difficult for many people to understand but it's true and they're going to be looking for other hazards before they even make the decision to put that fire out or go in and try to save horses. So all that lack of understanding of how this really happens on a scene is probably why people don't understand how to prevent, mitigate, and train to deal with a response to a barn fire.